I'm Jim Kircher, and home ownership, it can be amazing. Until, of course, all those home repair bills start piling up. And I learned, well, the hard way, that there is a time when you need to call in the experts. Well, for nearly two decades, the folks at PBS's Ask This Old House have been answering home repair questions from viewers around the country. And sometimes they make house calls. Anne-Marie Berger stopped by when we found out they were in the neighborhood. So it's because the bulbs are close to that junction box? We have the wires that we pushed up from the light fixture downstairs. When I tap, I just can feel how solid it is. Ask This Old House and their crew of plumbers, carpenters, landscapers, and others help homeowners with their home improvement projects. We're a spinoff of This Old House. It's a lot of the same cast members that you know and love from This Old House. But instead of working on one house each season, we go all across the country and help answer viewer emails about smaller projects. Projects range from simple to less simple, and in its 18th season, they made a house call to an old home in St. Louis. All right, guys, say hello to your new land, and what do you think? Wow. Beautiful. Love it. It's really cool. So we're in Lafayette Square. Custom built. Uh, actually, Our house is one of the oldest ones here, though it's been here since uh, 1882. Now, a house in Lafayette Square, one of St. Louis's oldest neighborhoods, is perfect for an Ask This Old House project. But Jay and Melissa Hoffmeister didn't write into the show to update their old house. They wanted to bring back an original feature. Um, we're actually having a gas porch light put on, and um, it's just kind of an idea that we fell in love with because there's a few houses in the neighborhood that have them. We kind of think we're handy. We're really not. <laughs> right. But whenever we looked at the lantern, we're like, well, we can do this. And then we looked into it, and we're like, but it's so complicated. Mm -hmm. Like, no, we can't. And expensive. And so we thought, we'll take a shot at this old house. And dealing with gas lines isn't exactly something oh, amateurs no, no, want to no, deal no, with. No, no, <laughs> no. We'll I don't know leave what that we up thinking. to the professionals. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to add a beautiful lantern to the front of that building we're just you know it's the Hoffmeisters didn't just get a professional they got Richard Trithui so the plumbing and heating thing. expert who's been with this old house since the beginning yeah, Lee, you know doesn't does, does, doesn't mean I bring that with me and we show it shouldn't we end the scene I, I call myself the luckiest plumber ever I grew up in a family business fourth generation I was given wrenches as a kid there was no choice for me I knew what I'd have to do with my life because it was part of the family the, the heritage and then this thing happened in 1978, 79, which you do the math, it's now 40 years ago. How are you doing, my dear? Let me do that guy. We love being in St. Louis. That everybody's really nice here, by the way, just so you know. Yeah, some of us in the East, you know, they get a little short with people. <laughs> well, I don't know, on these hot, humid days, you might. I know, no, no. Well, I'm in the air conditioning business. <laughs> we can call you. And when you first intro it. Yeah, yeah. okay, good. Ask This Old House is produced out of Boston, but they're on the road about six times a season. Before their production crew of just five arrived in St. Louis, they had already visited homeowners in D.C., Virginia, Utah, Tennessee, and Illinois. Ask This Old House travels with a small crew, but when they're coming, you can't miss them. For all the people that are watching all these um, DIY shows and flip and all of that stuff, do you have to have a conflict in here? Does there have to be a problem <laughs> there won't in be order tears. for this to be a There won't be tears today. No, there won't be. Uh, it's a just, yeah, this is how you drama. do it. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're a PBS show, so it's about education first and foremost. We're trying to teach people how to do these processes, how to do them the right way, uh, what's actually involved with it. Give them a realistic sense of if I want to do a project similar to this, how many people is it going to take? Mm -hmm. What are the tools they're going to use? Give you a sense of what the cost might be. You know, if the house is cool, we'll tell the story of it. If the homeowners are cool, they'll be featured more, but we're really here just to teach the step by step. Now the jobs on this show, for the most part, are single day projects to complete. But just like any DIY project, there's a lot of advanced planning, troubleshooting, and knowing when to call in the professionals. Uh, Spire came out and looked at the project for us probably three or four weeks ago now. They realized that in order to get a gas line through the brick, they may have to take down some wood paneling, which meant getting a carpenter involved. Mm -hmm. Now we have a circus today. Yeah. There's about 15 <laughs> different people all here to help, mostly off camera, but you know, figure out how to get this gas pipe the quickest, most efficient way to do a retrofit like this and not have to tear apart the whole house. <laughs> The 
The magic of TV makes this process seem so easy and affordable. To run a gas line and purchase and install this one-of-a-kind handmade in New Orleans lantern could run you five to six thousand dollars. But you can always write in to ask this old house. You never know. They may roll up to your door. They, they get thousands of entries a day, she was telling me, and um, I think we are just and lucky. We are lucky. <laughs> I, what can you say?